So how do you change the brightness of a clip in Final Cut? Well, again, it's, it's not too difficult. All you need to do is select the clip that you want to change and then come up to the inspector. Remember, if it's not showing, you just need to click this icon here and click on the color tab. Now, this may look intimidating if you've not used color correction software before, but it can be quite easy. So you can see along the top, we've got three tabs, color, saturation, and exposure. And generally inside each of these tabs, you have four circles in a slider. Now, what do these represent? Well, the one on the left here in the exposure tab represents the overall exposure of the image. So you can see if I turn that up, the whole image gets brighter. If I bring it down, the whole image gets darker. And if you want to reset, you just click the arrow up here. But often, making the whole image brighter is not what you want to do. So that's where these three icons come in. These affect the exposure in the shadows, midtones, and highlights. So if you want to make a specific area of the shot brighter or darker, you just select which area it's in. So here, let's see what happens if I make my midtones brighter. You can see how the light up here is blown out, but the black section of my image has not changed. If I bring it down, you see that the highlight on the light has gone down, but again, the blacks haven't changed. And in fact, a lot of the image hasn't changed. If we change the midtones, you can see how the highlight on the light has stayed the same and the black air is staying the same, but almost everything in between is changing. And finally, if we adjust the shadows, we can see that I can make, get rid of all the detail in the map box here or turn it up to reveal more detail. So often people use this to add a bit of contrast to make their film look more dramatic, but you can use it to correct any mistakes in the shooting. The same options exist with saturation, so you can boost the saturation on your whole image or just boost the saturation in the shadows, midtones or highlights. And finally, we have the color board. Now, it may look more complicated, but the idea is very much the same. So you've got the overall adjustment, then shadows, midtones, and highlights. So you can see we've got more dimensions here. So if I move this master up into the reds, you can see how the whole image turns red. If I move it down underneath the reds, what's actually happening is Final Cut's getting rid of all the red in the image, which is why it's turned a sort of cyan color. Again, we can move it up into green or blue or pink. Generally, you wouldn't change the whole master unless you want, wanted to correct an issue perhaps with white balance. But it's a very common thing in films to affect shadows, midtones and highlights separately. So what you might want to do is raise your highlights up to make the highlights more orange and then maybe make your shadows a little bit more blue. That can add an interesting look to the image. Finally, with the color board, you can actually add a mask. So you can see up here, I've got this icon, which is a mask, and I can add a shape mask, which means that that effect will only take place inside this circle, which you can really see if I do something wacky with the exposure. So if I boost it all the way up, you can see that it's like a spotlight. I can make it squarer or rounder by clicking this wheel, or I can resize it or rotate it. I also have the option to make different adjustments inside and outside the mask. So if I click on outside, I can make the outside of the image darker, just like that. 